Another thing we can do with students is we can provide them with a yardstick or a meter stick, and that will serve as a number line, and a piece of yarn or string. And I oftentimes give the scenario of this is a road, an ant road, so it's kind of small and short, and that kind of helps them with the scenario. So almost like it's a log that gets shifted is kind of how we think about it. So here you can see on the number line that the ending point is at four, the starting point is at one, and what is the difference or the distance between one and four? So we can go ahead and see that it's one, two, three. So the difference between those two points is three. So here you can see that the log or the ant road has shifted. So we can see that the ending point is at five, the starting point is at two. What is the difference or the distance between the starting and ending points? One, two, three. And one more example, four and seven. So here we have seven, the ending point, four is the starting point, and the distance or difference between those two points is still three. Now, what's really powerful here is it, you will see an additional resource that we've provided that would help your student, students engage in this activity um, in small groups or partners in which they are physically moving the string and recording the points. And then the real power is when you have the conversation and help them see the pattern and the structure of the difference between those points. So what's really interesting is students will start to notice, because you've asked them, is, you know, take a look at the relationship between the red equation and the green equation. What's happening? What do you notice? What's that relationship? Oh, we've actually increased the ending point by three and the starting point by three. Oh, so that, that road has shifted. So if the starting point shifts forward three places, then the back of that road is going to shift forward three places as well. But once again, you could talk them to death but unless they physically can see and record and start to discuss those patterns and why it's happening, that's where the real power will be. Otherwise, they will begin to wonder, when do I add one? When do I subtract one? Um, so it's critical that they're reasoning and making sense of it.